Okay, so um, in order to get access to the JupyterLab, um, you go to the master document and you uh, look for access in JupyterLab. You right click on it and open the link. It would take you right to the PDF file. If you have not yet created a certificate, do create a certificate. When you do have the certificate, uh, copy it into uh, the visitor's master node and make sure you place it under. Let's have a look. Your certificate should be uh, placed in the same directory where you have the uh, PyTorch underscore 21 dot o3 zip file so again your certificate needs to be under the same directly as a directory as this file okay so now that we are ready to run to call a um, slurn run this script will allow us to have an interactive uh, run into the node So now that we are in node, uh, this is the node, uh, it's randomly assigned whatever resource is available so that as soon as you run this interactive um, job, then you will get into the node. From here onwards, you need to export. Uh, where's my export? So you need to export the singularity to your current directory. So in fact, you can write it uh, as a, a dollar signed PWD if you are in the directory where you do have the uh, zip file as well as your certificate. Otherwise, you need to modify this into the absolute path to that directory. OK, so afterwards, we are ready to um, run the singularity. You run singularity like this. Remember, this is very, very important. You need to have the dash dash MV. This will give you an interactive shell into singularity running container. From here, double check that you are indeed in this directory where you do have the both of the um, PyTorch 2103 SIF file as well as your certificate. So again, if you copy your certificate into the master node, you need to move that certificate to the directory. So the directory you should be having is slash project Megatron Bootcamp users, your username, and or if it's under asset, whichever that has this file in. OK, so now that when we have this, we are ready to launch the JupyterLab. For the JupyterLab to launch, um, again, you need to either specify where your certificate is. For me, it is in the current directory, so I can just directly say equal to this because it's right here. And then you need to look for the port. So the port you need to look for, again, go to the um, master document, scroll down to link to the port allocation and check out which is your port. It has your name on it. Then enter. So if you see this, that means that you can call it out your Jupyter notebook or Jupyter lab in the browser. So then you call out another terminal, and then you call out Firefox. But at the same time, you do HTTPS slash, um, uh, slash, slash node. And this is the node. Again, you need to look for the node. It's right here. It's node 001. It should be the same, node 001 here. And then this is the port that you will be using, the same port you've been assigned to, the same port that you are using in order to launch 
the Jupyter Lab. Once you've done that, enter. It will call out right here. As you can see, you go to Advanced, scroll down, accept the risk, and continue. Here is where you enter the password. Now, the password, if it's not working, you can go back and reset it. I'll show you how. So let's say my password is not working. So I don't have to do, uh, I don't have to go all the way back. So what I do is that control C on this terminal, Y, and then I say Jupyter notebook password. This will allow me to reset the password. Okay, so I enter the password again. Okay, then what did I do? I'm going to relaunch this using exactly the same command. Okay, so now I am going to again launch this. See, see this time it jumped directly to the password because it remember in the cache. So enter the password. You can either save it, but I don't want to save it. And then you just um, navigate it to GPT, GPU Bootcamp, AI, Megatron, English, Python, start here. If you are seeing this, that means that you are ready to uh, do the labs.